On today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a witch's stew entirely out of gum paste. Hi guys, Anita here and welcome to Anita's Cake Bakery. On today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make a witch's shoe out of gum paste using baroque moulds, glitter, cake lace and creepy spiders. Okay, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to start off by making the sole first because I already have a heel prepared from earlier. Roll out your gum paste so that it's the right size for your sole template. Cut around your sole template with a pizza cutter. Then place your sole on the drying ramp. Attach your heel to the back of your sole using edible glue or water. Roll out some more gum paste and cut another sole. This time make sure your gum paste is slightly thinner. Cut a few millimetres off the back part of your sole. Now cut half of the front off. And attach this to your shoe. This is the insole of your shoe. Cut around the template for the front of your shoe. Then attach this using some edible glue. As the front part of your shoe is very pointy, I've used some foam underneath the pointed bit for support. It's also a good idea to stuff the inner part of the shoe with some cling film or tissue just to hold the shape. Attaching this front piece can be a little bit fiddly but if you just take your time and make sure all the side seams are properly sealed it should work out fine. So now that the front is attached I've added some cling film underneath the foam just at the front of the shoe 
so that the shoe can dry in this shape where it's pointed upwards. So that it resembles the witch's shoe. You can curve it more or less to what you'd like. Now you need to attach the back of the heel with some edible glue. Then cut out and attach the tongue. I wanted the tongue to dry slightly upright so I've stuffed the back with some cling film. Next you need to cut out a strip of gum paste approximately an inch to an inch and a half in thickness and lay this across the front of your shoe slightly covering the tongue. Cut off any excess overhang on both sides. For the buckle I've used a mould that I have which is actually a photo frame mould but it works brilliantly for a buckle. So for the heel of the shoe I wanted it to curve out slightly. So just add the gum paste to the bottom of your heel until you're happy with how the heel looks. So now I've decided to airbrush the shoe black. I wasn't going to airbrush the insole, but in the end I changed my mind. So the whole shoe is colored in black. So now we're going to add some mould and embellishments to the shoe. So I've dusted the mould and I'm using some black sugar paste.
Once you've filled your mould with the sugar paste, place it in the freezer for a few minutes to harden up. This will make it easier to come out of the mould. I also made some black cake lace, which I'm going to use on the front of the shoe. Attach the moulded pieces onto the back of your shoe. And I'm also attaching some square studs down the side of the back of the shoe. Attach your cake lace to the front of your shoe. I've added some small silver diamante to the front of the shoe as well. For the buckle, I painted it light silver. Stick your baroque moulds to your tongue. Now that the silver paint has dried on the buckle, I've dusted it with some black luster dust. and then I attached it to the shoe. Next, add some glitter to the strip on the front of your shoe, sticking it on with some edible glue or water. Add some black glitter to your heel Then I decided to add three studs to the back of the heel. I didn't quite like the buckle being so light so I've added some more black and also the strip where the glitter was, I added some more black to that also. Now for the finishing touch and to make your shoe look a little bit more scary, I added a few plastic spiders. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. For future videos, make sure to subscribe and to get notified, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.